What's up you guys? Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm gonna to talk you through my diet essential foods. These are the things that get me through my cutting diet when I'm preparing for a competition. So I think that these things could probably help you guys if you're just on like a regular diet um, or just trying to cut back a little bit and shift a little bit of extra weight. So let's get started. This one is Fry Light and it's one calorie per spray. This one is Tesco's sunflower oil and it's two calories per spray. I use this one on pretty much everything, like omelets, meat, everything. Oh my god, why is everything beating? And I use this one when I want something to taste a little bit more like it's fried. So if I am like sauteing some mushrooms or something and I want it to go a little bit crispy, I'll use this one. This one has one extra calorie per spray, guys. It's not that <gasps> it's not that much different. But since it's sunflower oil instead of like a Oh no, this one is sunflower oil too, but I feel like this one's more oily, more like actual oil. So I use this one for more fried stuff. On salmon, I use on salmon too to make it like crispy. I use lemon juice on salads um, and when I cook fish. Those are like pretty much the two times that I use it. So I'm just put it in my water to make it a little bit flavorsome. Um, but basically you're adding flavor without adding calories, so lemon juice is great. I think lemon juice has also been shown to have a positive effect on your metabolism too, so all good. This is my protein sugar-free syrup. This is in the flavor butterscotch. I think this is my favorite one, but they also do like chocolate, strawberry, maple, like loads of different stuff. So try these out and if you try one, I've not tried any of the fruity ones, so if you try them and they're good, then let me know and give them a go. But I use these on, this might sound a bit weird, but I use them on scrambled eggs. I don't know. And things like pancakes, of course. Um, I used to put them in my oats. I don't need more, but I used to like it in my oats. And it just gives, again, some flavor and a little bit of moisture to like protein pancakes because protein pancakes can sometimes be a little bit dry. Especially if you're like me and you sometimes make the carb-free ones, I think they can sometimes be a little bit dry, lacking something. So putting this on it just makes it seem a little bit more, a little bit more pancake-like, a little bit more moist. These are my proteins flavor drops. Now these are probably my number one thing that I use when I'm on a cutting diet. So this is in the flavor toffee. Um, I actually only really buy the toffee one because it comes in this size. The other ones are like this size and um, I like the big ones because they last longer. So I think that the toffee and like the maple and stuff, I think they all pretty much taste the same. So I buy the toffee because it comes in the big, the big size. And I put this in my coffee to make it sweet and taste um, sugary. And I put it in my oats as well. I always put this in my oats. It makes them so much more flavorsome. So I use maple syrup flavor protein and then toffee flavor drops to just like heighten the flavor of it. It's so good. Highly, highly recommend that. These little 10 cal jellies from Hartley's. Now I know that lots of people also make their own like sugar-free jelly just from the mixes that you buy, but I like to buy these because they're just easy. I don't have to do anything with them. So these are fat-free and they have like one carb in them. 1.8 carb, five calories. Five calories, this is 10. Oh no, nine calories. Nine calories a pot, guys. What more can I say? Faye or Fadge, I don't know how to say it, but this 0% fat Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt? Yeah. So this stuff, I don't actually eat it as yogurt, but you can do. I used to have it with a scoop of whey protein in it to make like a little kind of dessert thing. I don't really do that anymore. I use this in my cooking. So I use it to make chicken seem like it's in like a creamy sauce or I put it through salads as like a kind of salad dressing. So I'll make a chicken Caesar and I'll put this in instead of Caesar dressing um, or I will make chicken and put this through it as, and mix it with some spices and stuff and make a kind of creamy sauce. And honestly guys, this is a game changer. Like try this. If you've not tried this before, then do it. It's kind of like having like mayonnaise or cream in a sauce, but instead you're getting pretty much a pure protein source. There's no fat, obviously 0% fat. And per 100 grams, there are four grams of carb, guys. So you only need to use like 30 grams, just like basically no carbs at all. 
and per 100 grams there's 10 grams of protein and that is it. So, cooking. This is a game changer, guys. Everything. You can also make, I won't edit these right now because I'm at the end of my cut, but you can also make like chicken fajitas and use this instead of the sour cream. So salsa, which again, basically no calories, no carb, certainly no fat. This, a little bit of spice and a bit of like non-fat cheese or low-fat cheese and you are good to go. You've got a really, really low calorie alternative to chicken fajitas. I use this in everything. So again, adding calories, no. Adding flavor without adding calories. This goes, I think hot chili powder goes with pretty much anything that you want to make. I put it, I had to do sprinkle over my salads as well. I don't know if that's weird, but whatever. Um, and I absolutely put it on all my meat, chicken, turkey, fish, everything. I think it's the best thing ever. <laughs> So you can see, mine is almost empty. I need to get more. I use black pepper on loads of stuff. I put it on salads again. I put it on meat. Um, and again, flavor without calories. Again, like the lemon juice, I'm pretty sure that hot chili powder and pepper are linked to like metabolic increase as well. So, give that a go. And last, but certainly not least, Robinson's sugar-free nylon juice. This is my way of getting more water into me because I find it hard to drink water in large quantities. Like I don't not like it, but I just kind of struggle to drink large amounts of it. But when it's got Robinson's, as you can see here, I don't. And I manage to get a good level of water intake, which I struggle with otherwise. So those are my cutting diet favorites. If you have any input with these or anything that you think I should try, I've probably messed some stuff up. I think of anything, I'll add it into another video and let you guys know for sure. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog and keep in touch. I'll put my email address here. And I'll see you in the next clip. What's up guys? It is Sunday today and today we are exactly 20 days from the show. And I've got a little bit of extra energy today because I had some extra carbs last night and feeling good because of it, feeling fuller. My weight's up a little bit, but I feel lean and energetic and I'm excited to take on a good leg session today. So that's what we're gonna do just now. First, I'm gonna take some pre-workout. I don't know which one I'm gonna use because I don't have any, <laughs> but I do have some samples. Okay, maybe I don't. Okay, I have one left. Those of samples came with my food bag. I have one. This has two servings in it though. So this is best strong, no, be strong, I can't read. Be strong adapt.com. It says on it, I don't know what it is. Pre-train performance and strength in the flavor green apple. I've used this once before actually and I really actually likes it a lot. So not heard of it, but quite like it, I like it. I think there's quite a lot of caffeine in this one. I think it's like, I remember reading it before, I've been like, whoa. Caffeine, caffeine, 300 milligrams is quite a lot, I guess. Actually, I think it's because I took the whole thing last time. I didn't realize that it was two servings, so I just had the whole thing. And I was like jumping around the gym, like ready to take on the world. <laughs> Let's do this now. I'm gonna weigh it. So this is it weighs 20 grams, so it'll be at 10 grams. I need to eat this cup. Hello? Hey. I'm just um, vlogging. Okay, cool. I'll, I'm just literally finishing up. I'm just taking some pre-workout. Do you want any? I like to put too much water in these because I don't know, they don't taste that good and I think that the less water, the faster it gets into your system. <laughs> it looks like blood on my hand, it's fake down. Mm. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'm late. I'm gonna go. I'll see you there. Bye!
just got the gym and I realized that my battery is on one bar. So, uh, that was a good start. That was a good start. I'm gonna turn this off and it's gonna record like one set of each thing. And I'll put a description of what like sets is about it. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog there. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions or anything at all, comment below or email me. I've already put my email address, but I'll put it up again. And I'll see y'all in the next one.